Hello everyone. Welcome to another Monday movie. I'm Mr. Blue Summers. So this week, I'll be showing you a quick technique that came up on the forums this week that you can use for taking a cross-section of inorganic models in 3D Studio Max. For example, here we have an engine ball that I've created specifically for this demonstration. It's a very short, squat model of an engine, and I've taken the time to include some modeling on the inside. Now what I need to do is cut this model in half so that we can see inside for this render. So I'm going to go up to my modify panel and you can see that I started off with a line and a lathe modifier and gave myself plenty of room inside of the engine. On the very top of my modifier stack I'm going to select from the drop down the slice modifier. SLI slice and I'm going to select to remove the top and that's going to let me see inside of the engine. Now the problem here is that the holes are not being capped, so it's impossible to see what part of the engine is solid and what part is not. So we need to apply a second modifier called cap holes, and that's going to cap all of the holes that are created by the slice modifier. Now I've taken an original render here so that you can see outside of the engine ball. Let's try rendering again with these two modifiers and see what we get. And there you have it. We can now render the interior of our objects very easily and quickly using just these two modifiers. There's a few things to keep in mind though. The first thing is that you need to have closed geometry. Every object in this render is closed. Any open ends will probably cause problems with the cap holes modifier. Second is that this is a very robust technique in that you can manipulate the slice plane for example, to create an architectural animation that shows your viewers how they can walk through the building. So I encourage you to play around with this at your leisure and see what it can do for you. Thanks for tuning in to another Monday Movie. You can find all of my Monday movies as well as tutorials, resources, and downloads at my website, www.mrbluesummers.com.